I'm gonna start with green chili pork stew. Oh, it's so good. It reminds me of New Mexico. I'm actually gonna make a big batch and freeze it as a meal kit alongside tortillas and grated cheese. I've already browned one batch of pork. I'm using pork shoulder that I cut into chunks. It's my favorite kind of pork to use for any stew or roast. It's really tough when it's uncooked, and then the longer you cook it, the more it just falls apart and becomes tender. I toss the chunks of pork in a little bit of flour and salt and pepper. The flour just helps develop a nice crust when you're browning it. I'm really searing the heck out of this pork. I wanna get it really brown because that's where the flavor comes in. Now I'm gonna make the rest of the stew and I've got a bunch of chopped onion. This stew cooks for a long time so you wanna start with quite a nice pile. And then I'm also adding carrots. I'm gonna add some garlic and then I have some oregano and I'll pick off the leaves and then I'll chop it up and add it in. So the oregano goes in, and then I have some ancho chili powder. A little goes a long way, so I'm gonna add a tablespoon, and that should be good. A little more salt and pepper. Okay, I'll stir all of this so the flavors are mixed together. Okay, I need the veggies to cook for about five minutes. So while they do, I'm gonna peel and chop the roasted poblanos. Okay, I got the poblanos chopped. Now I also have a jalapeno pepper, a serrano pepper, and some husk tomatillos. I put all of these right under the broiler for about five minutes, tossed them in olive oil first. They all got some little bit of black skin. They're not totally charred like if I had roasted them over an open flame. I'll just chop the tomatillos roughly. All of this is gonna go into the stew and cook low and slow so you don't have to dice everything too fine. I took out the seeds of the poblano chilies, but I actually left the seeds of the jalapenos and serranos. I may live to regret that. <laughs> it's gonna make the stew pretty spicy. That's what sour cream is for, right? Okay, I'll give this a stir. All this beautiful browned pork. It makes such a difference to sear the pork before you put it in. If you just put it in raw, you would never get that beautiful caramelized flavor. Then two and a half cups of vegetable broth. And finally, a couple of bay leaves. And I'll get everything stirred. I'll turn the heat down, and I'm gonna let it cook for an hour. Time's up. Let's take a look. Now the first thing I need to do is fish out the bay leaves. I'm gonna cut a lime in half, and this is a really juicy lime. It's amazing what a difference this little bit of lime juice makes in this stew. And then I chopped some cilantro, about a fourth a cup, and it goes in, and I'm gonna stir this beautiful mixture together. Now, with the stew, I'm freezing some white corn tortillas and then just a couple of separate containers of grated cheddar cheese. Now I've got to transfer the stew into a foil container. And while I do, let me tell you how this gorgeous meal comes together. So I'll put the pan of frozen stew into a 375 degree oven for 40 minutes, then put in some tortillas wrapped in foil, give everything another 10 minutes, and then take them out. Now it's all about serving up. Everyone gets a big bowl full of the green chili deliciousness with some of the cheddar cheese I froze and thawed, some chopped fresh cilantro, sour cream, a lime wedge, and tortillas. Dinner for six could not be easier. 